please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. To navigate the next milestones in our journey ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Nandan. I now request Mr. Salil Parukh, CEO and Managing Director, to make a presentation to the shareholders. So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it is really a privilege for me to be in this position with all of you and share with you some of the thinking that we have for where we want to take Infosys. Over the past few months, there's been a lot of activity that the management team, the board, and several other people within the company have launched. And I want to give you a glimpse of that and then share with you how this is going to affect us in the coming days, weeks, and years. One of the first things that we saw and Nandan mentioned as well, was the resilience that we've had as a company over the years. When I met with many of the clients that have been part of Infosys's client roster for 10, 15, 20 years, the sorts of comments that came back, the sorts of confidence that came back, was really related to the deep trust that each of these clients have in Infosys and in all of the people within Infosys to deliver their work for them. These are some of the quotes from actual clients, most of them within the large 25 clients of Infosys across the company. For example, one of the CIOs at a very large bank said to me, if there was one company that I would depend upon to help me through all of our technology work, and be confident that they will deliver, that one company would be Infosys. And this is the sort of clients that we have built over the last 37 years with the hard work, dedication, contribution of everyone, starting with the founders and all of the employees of the company. And this is the company that you have today standing in front of you. We then have our employees today, just over 200,000 of them, the employees that I met with and connected also have a deep pride in being part of Infosys and being part of something which aspires to be and is number one in many of the things that we do. This pride, this real drive to do something and succeed is quite infectious and it's across all of our employees in Infosys. And it's worth for all of us to keep in mind and for you especially uh, to be proud of, as we all are, because this is what the engine that drives Infosys ahead. Then when I put these things together between our clients, our employees, and all of our shareholders, this is what's guiding us as we look to our future. We want to make sure that we remain relevant for everything that our clients are doing. We want to make sure that we build something which is fruitful for the ambitions of our employees and their future journey. And we also want to make sure that all the aspirations and alignment with shareholders remains constant in our mind as we look to the future. With that in mind, we created a strategy which is really resting upon four pillars. The first pillar is how do we build a new business in what is called the digital world. We already have a very successful business and I will show you some examples of that. But the future in terms of where all of our clients are going, it depends upon building and scaling what we call the agile digital business. The second, we want to make sure that everything we've been doing for our clients so far in their core areas is further energized and we are leveraging it with artificial intelligence. The third 
We want to make sure that we expand the skill sets of all of our employees and we provide an infrastructure that allows them to develop their own skills at the pace that they want as the market demands that. And the fourth, we want to make sure that localization in many of our markets becomes a part of our future so that we become part of the new ecosystem uh, as we grow, whether it's the US, in Europe, or in the Australian markets. Within digital, as Nandan shared with you, we developed a five-pronged approach on which areas to focus on. And this is a comprehensive architecture that we have built with our teams, with our lead of strategy, and with all of the management behind it to drive the future. In each of those areas, we have now constructed detailed service line structures that help us to guide how the future will evolve. For example, one of the areas we call insight. Within insight, we do all of the work that relates to data and analytics and how do we predict things based on data. We have another area called experience, another one for innovate. In innovate, we do things on IoT. A lot of work today developing on IoT and moving to the IoT. We have another area called accelerate. Within accelerate, all of the work that's going on on the cloud services falls here. So we're building partnerships with the big cloud providers, whether that's Microsoft and Azure, Amazon and AWS, Google and Google Cloud, or others that are emerging, and that is becoming the fuel for how we drive the future growth. And Azure relates to cybersecurity and how that becomes important in all the work that we do. Coming back to experience, it's really how everything is changing in the world for our clients, consumers, how they are interacting with the technology, with the products, with the services, all through mobile and apps, but then that's interconnected to all the IT at the back. And we have some really good examples. We've made two acquisitions here, but we've also built our own team that is driving the work that we call experience for our clients. Then we've taken our brand identity and within our brand identity, we build something, as Nandan shared with you, which is forever relevant. And what it does is, we are so strong in our clients' core systems that anything that they want to build on their digital journey starts from there. Once it starts from there, there are various paths that they can take. And on each path, we want to be their partner to navigate them, to help them to take their future. And this is how we've constructed this map that we will navigate your next clients and through that we will bring for you your digital future. What is even more exciting is the digital work we are doing today is not insignificant. Almost one fourth of the work that we did in fiscal 2018 was around digital. So it already gives us a very strong foundation from which to build this future of our clients. In the next few slides, I want to give you examples of how we are doing such work with our clients. So this slide and the one after that talks about one of our high-tech clients where they were looking to really use digital work in the experience component to simplify and standardize what they were doing. So here what we ended up doing for them is taking what is going on in their back offices and making it really part of their elite front office and changing the experience that they have with their clients. In doing this, we significantly improved the way that they were saving over 80%. We significantly impacted the processing that was going through over 95% and changed the whole look and feel of how the experience was being delivered. 
Another example is with a company where we've changed everything that they're doing in terms of data and analytics and how they're developing their digital journey, leveraging the Infosys capability. So here, one of the things we've done is we've taken how all of their consumers are using their products and mapped it and over 5,000 different attributes of how the consumers are using their products were mapped. And from that, we created a comprehensive view of how their customers were buying things, what they were using, and how soon were they changing things. With that usage of data, we changed, increased the number of repeat buyers and reduced how their segmentation was done when they were putting products into the display shelves. And this helped them faster to sell their goods and improve their overall productivity. Uh, another company that we worked with, again, in the digital space, related to a logistics business. Here we built for them a real platform for their logistics. Uh, the platform itself is something that is built on the cloud. And through this platform, they're able to do significant improvement in their uh, productivity by over 20% and also improve how they're doing customer acquisitions. This is probably one of the more exciting ones we've done. We work with a large global company that is in the staffing business and completely change the way they can interact both with the individuals that work through them and also their clients by creating a simplified app that allows this interface to go through. This has become the platform and one of the fastest growing pieces of their business within their overall landscape. In fact, two weeks ago, their CEO and their entire management team was with us in Bangalore and he could not stop talking enough about how this work that Infosys has done for them has revolutionized their business and each of their divisions wants to do more and more of that with us. So with these examples, I wanted to give you a quick sense of what it is that we're doing across the areas of digital as Infosys today and within that pentagon or the five areas of growth that we've identified. Now if I shift to the second part of our uh, four pillars, which relates to energizing the core, that is also a very important part because we are putting in a lot of new technology. For example, we have built over the last three years an internal artificial intelligence solution. We've called it NIA. We are now integrating third-party components into this NIA, and that helps to fuel improvement in everything that we're doing for our core client services. And that is making our clients more efficient and allowing them to work with us for bigger and bigger pieces of their core work. We also have other components like Assist Edge, which is helping in this area. Here again, I wanted to show you one example of a client we've done this with. And by doing this sort of work, we've shown 12% improvement in productivity by unleashing artificial intelligence into their core services. This kind of improvement in productivity is what our clients are looking for continuously, and that's what keeps us more and more with them in this area. Here again, I wanted to show you one example of a client we've done this with, and by doing this sort of work, we've shown 12% improvement in productivity by unleashing artificial intelligence into their core services. This kind of improvement in productivity is what our clients are looking for continuously, and that's what keeps us more and more with them as the future develops. The next, I just want to give you a quick example of something we've developed for learning. On learning, the idea for us is 
all of our employees should have access to the ability to reskill themselves on any future in the new areas. So here the example that I share most likely with our clients and with our employees, if we have someone working, for example, on a technology related to a COBOL or mainframe scenario, and they want to move to something which is related to cloud or digital, we've started to build components within our learning system that allow them to do that. We've now called this learning capability Lex. It's available on our cell phones. So each of us has it on our cell phones. All of our employees have it. And it has our own content. It has content from third party providers. And now more and more our clients are asking us to deploy this within their organizations.